guys, all that joking aside, it is true. What you just saw in some of those videos is true. We do do that. Maybe on not on such not such an exaggerated scale, but we do sometimes look out the window and think, oh, I just can't be bothered today. Sometimes we just want to put our dressing gowns back on and go back to bed for half an hour. Sometimes we just don't feel like we've got enough energy to train. And sometimes you feel like the most energetic person in the whole entire world and you feel like you could train for days. Um, and all that's completely normal. I guess the point in this video now is just to kind of say to you guys, it's normal to sometimes not feel like training. It's okay to miss the odd workout, but what I really hope is that the videos that I've been showing you over the past couple of weeks have helped you kind of think about little kind of things to use or little you know tools to take away to help you stay motivated past January and throughout the rest of the year. Set goals, use the tracking device, get a watch, track your workouts, plan your workouts, pop them in your diary, whether it be a hard copy or on your phone, set reminders, um, try and drink plenty of water, don't beat yourself up when you feel like you just wanna quit. It's okay to miss a gym session, okay? Remember that, I feel like that's the biggest thing. I feel like after January passes and people start to miss one or two workouts, then they think they feel defeated. Don't you feel defeated, it's okay, life happens. People work three jobs to save up for a wedding. People have kids. People have sick kids that they need to pick up from school. People have to work overtime at work. That is all normal, guys. Don't worry about that, okay? I feel like what stops us progressing is our head, okay? It's in your own head. You've, you've got this. As well, a big thing for me is that people do certain workouts or do certain things because they feel like they're either gonna lose weight from it or they're just gonna get super fit from it. Whereas I like to think of it the opposite way. I think it's better to find something you really love, whether it be boxing, running, skiing, swimming, triathlons, whatever, dancing, um, find what you really love and then it won't really become a chore. It'll become just something that you love and then the consequences from that will be incredible. You'll feel better, you'll feel more confident and you'll just, look forward to training um so guys my top tips what i'm going to leave you with is my top things that i find really help me for my workouts and what helped me stay motivated past january and throughout the rest of the year is setting goals whether it be a challenge an event or to start something new so if i've got a marathon in october i know that's my focus whether i'm going to start a dance class next week that is my focus i need to go to that i'm going to plan it in my diary um preparation i I'm not the most organized person in the world when it comes to stuff like that. So I get my kit ready the night before. I set it out, I put it all in my bag so I'm ready to go and then I don't have to faff around in the morning and I don't end up forgetting things. Music for me is a massive one. I feel really passionate about having a good playlist, especially when I'm running by myself. Um, everyone's different. If you want a running buddy, I feel like, if you feel like you train better like that, find a friend. I like both. I like training with people and I also like my own time like that is what running is for me i feel like i can switch off i can de-stress and with a bit of good music it really helps so yeah like i said in my previous videos i use the samsung headphones um what else is there? i think that's pretty much it i really hope you've enjoyed my videos guys and if you've got any questions at all just drop me a message email me or ask me on social media and i'll try and help you guys out as much as possible throughout 2018 good luck and happy trip